When you're building content and cultivating a brand online, how does that actually practically apply to the things that you're creating and sharing? Well, part of it is, you know, I, I, I hope I'm answering this question. I found that the act of documentation is, it's everything you really need. Because when you put things out into the world, you have to be honest with yourself. Man, that doesn't sound very good. Hmm. Maybe I should record it again, but this time play it more in tune. And just that little thought means you're getting better, right? Because now you have, you're, you're putting your name on it, you're putting your face on it, you're putting your brand on it. You then care more about your practice. <laughs> you care more about the record, the self-recording, which is what every teacher tells you to do to really honestly critique yourself in a kind way and use it as a medium and a means to improve oneself. Now, social media and documentation of your practice and your progression really forces you to do that. I think that can be very positive. Uh, but it's also a marathon, it's also discouraging, and it's also difficult, and most people won't do it. And that's just the way it is. So if you can find the courage and the self-love and the level of baseline pride in yourself, and not in a bad way, but pride, and this is what Anthony McGill was saying on our podcast today, the pride in oneself helps you get through that angst and that anxiety and that uh, uncertainty of putting yourself out there. And if you just know that you're not, you're not gonna die, you're gonna be okay if you put it out. You're gonna be okay if it's not perfect because it's not about today, it's about 10 years from now. If you can have that mindset, it really makes the documentation process such a valuable tool in your self-improvement uh, toolkit.